The Ross School is one of the first places to really understand the implications of a digital universe, of universal connectedness, of global connectedness. Now that we're in a globalized society, everything is integrated throughout the world, and you cannot learn about just one subject by itself. I would say Ross has prepared me to think in an interdisciplinary way, not just to study in that way. Over the past 25 years, Ross faculty have developed, applied, and refined the Ross Spiral curriculum. I'm looking at sustainability of the riverine culture, so the floods and uh, you can have, coming you can have, you have multiple yeah, stories. The Ross Spiral curriculum centers on cultural history, which unfolds chronologically through the grades. Each discipline is integrated with the cultural history narrative. Together, they provide a cohesive, interdisciplinary, and global curriculum. We don't just learn history in history, we learn history in math and then we learn about it in basically every class. I don't think it's necessary that we consider them as different domains, but really we're combining all subjects. It's important for students to learn not only about science and scientific theories, but how to do science. I think part of what Ross does with your curriculum is you're studying science of the time periods as well as current science. In history class, we just finished our Islamic unit and the ancient Muslims were the first people to invent the Olympic distillation processor. We integrated this into our science class by trying out different types of distillation. We learn not only about what scientific knowledge has produced thus far, we also learn about the process of gaining that scientific knowledge. Everything that the student learns as they go through the grade levels becomes a node in this network of knowledge. Students acquire the skills native to each discipline and examine the world as a hierarchy of interconnected systems, both natural and cultural. You'll be trying to think, rather than in terms of causation, in terms of systems dynamics. Can someone give me an example of a system? Like the ecosystem, because there's all these different animals and plants and stuff like that. Uh -huh. But if you like kill off an animal, all these other things are affected. You think that the feudal system is actually a system. Look at this system we have here. We study the migration system of butterflies. If our problem at the beginning of the year was that people came along and pulled out some milkweed, what else is affected? Who else felt like their string got really loose just now? When the monarch butterflies lay their eggs, they lay them on milkweed. If there's no more milkweed, the eggs will fall off. This systems thinking approach enables students to understand complexity. Not only were we looking at biodiversity, we were also looking at culture and the interconnectedness of these two systems. A student's engagement with the world takes place not only in the classroom, but in the field. Each year, all students at Ross take part in a three-week field academy, during which they are immersed in intensive educational experiences, either locally or abroad. When we were in Solomon Islands, I was working with two scientists from Smithsonian. We had to collect some species from the ocean and to identify the species from the molecular level, which is DNA sampling. The theme of this year's field academy was sustainability. I think sustainability is a very complex issue. Environmental sustainability, cultural sustainability, historical sustainability. Students who demonstrate extraordinary passion for science, technology, and related fields may elect to participate in Innovation Lab at Ross, an intensive academy for advanced students who wish to pursue in-depth coursework and engage in independent research and inquiry. We're trying to build a a wearable power generator that creates one watt of energy. You can take the voltmeter and see how much power you're getting off of those batteries right now. They may be able to attach and match the person. So here's a USB port. You plug it in to your computer. I like to build stuff. Build stuff when I grow up. Make the new world. The culmination of the inquiry-based student experience is the senior thesis project where students synthesize the skills they've acquired throughout their studies at Ross. I researched, designed, and built a hydrogen fuel cell system. I spent the month of August living free from modern amenities, tending a garden, milking goats, and fishing while keeping a blog of my daily activities through a solar-powered computer. 
My project is motorcycle thermoelectrics and the testing of a thermoelectric generator with the exhaust system. My study was actually written up as a grant proposal. We exposed fish to elevated CO2 levels, lowering the pH, and we're seeing a 50% decrease in survival. The senior project is showing who you are, almost a prototype of what somebody wants to be when they're older. Political economy, it's called. It's a, a field that looks into how governments affect economic change and how economies also affect governmental change. I looked at the political machinations of 17th century England and the ancient Egypt. I worked in a lab photographing neurons from chick forebrains. I learned how to dissect out the cells we needed, transfect their DNA with DNA that would code for a fluorescent green protein, and finally use the microscope to capture the images. I combined science and art to tell the story through an illustrated book and gallery installation. The project was a practice in sustainability, but also a journey of profound discovery that has shaped my values and consequently my perspective on the way societies are structured. The Ross School was established by Courtney Ross in the early 1990s in collaboration with international scholars and experts from diverse fields such as neuroscience, chaos mathematics, and cultural anthropology. And we're gonna utilize every resource, connection, every strategic ally we can to harness the energy that's evolving right now for the good. I am going to talk about the, the major problems in the present world. One is ecology, of course. <laughs> Those big problems in the world, we can solve technologically. Basic solution can derive from radical change in values. So therefore, education is very important to, to change the direction before it will become too late. Our job is to afford them the ability to be participants. Do you think that a scientist should be concerned with moral implications of their work, like nuclear testing? Of course they should. Pure knowledge is neutral. Some things may lead to a destruction of the planet. Some people predict that in 100 years from now, the change of climate of temperature will be equivalent to the one of the last 15,000 years. Today, Ross is equipped with a vast network of mentors who continue to contribute and expand the Ross Learning System. The teachers in this school, you're trying to do something that's never been done before. Prepare young people for biosphere consciousness. You're trying to create the possibilities of a generation who can heal the planet, restore the earth, save our species. We offer about 150 hours of professional development to teachers a year, and that's planned program professional development that they would take as a whole group, in divisions, in domains, and I think that's really important because it's not just about the student as a learner, it's about the teacher as a learner. Raw School is a lab school, a status that allows for the immediate implementation of current research. One of the strengths of Ross is that we're a research school, a school where teachers and uh, students and researchers work together to figure out what questions people would like to ask about the effect of the school experience. The Ross School is petri dish for expanding our notion of how to teach and how to learn. The spiral curriculum is adaptable as a whole system or as modules. Its architecture allows users to build upon it, expand its content, and add threads such as national histories or new disciplines. Ross Institute supports educators adapting the spiral curriculum by providing professional development and teacher training in both pedagogy and curricular content. We're starting off here at the ziggurat of Ur, the early Mesopotamia, which is now southern Iraq. The Ross model was successfully adapted at Ross Tiensta Gymnasium in Sweden. And each team might have different needs and each domain might have different needs. What we're able to do is really work you know, on a more individual basis with you to fine tune, custom tailor your, your professional development from here forward. Over the years since we started the Ross concept, I think there's been a great change here at Tiensta. I read their projects and I tried to adapt them to, to, to see where do they fit in into history and we change the order of some of them. And we now the integrated project, the unit work is natural, it's, the synergy is just perfect. Because of the global scope of the spiral curriculum, all world cultures can be studied through its structure. It can adapt to any regional context and accommodate diverse multicultural student bodies. And then you have my graduation from Tensta. And now I'm the first student to go to university in my family. The Ross Learning System is a complete 
digital curricular package, providing the tools necessary to adapt the Ross model. It will be released in 2016. Ross Learning System is all of the parts that a school would need to really teach the Ross curriculum. We have about 50,000 pages of curriculum that we're digitizing. It's important to know that there are databases even behind our system. All the curriculum that exists will be able to be consumed in a web interface. And you can see how all these things flow into the databases. All the units in the curriculum are linked to professional development modules. There's video content that the teachers will be able to click in and play. They're annotated walkthroughs or slideshows, there will be curriculum links. We are making an online resource so that we can more readily share it with others. We can be partnered with other schools more quickly and more, I would say, comprehensively. We're talking about a new planetary culture and consciousness, and it takes a different style of learning, it takes a different style of teaching, and it takes a different awareness about the world to truly be successful in doing that. We are training people for a future, to create a future, to have a future, to avoid collapse. So we want a higher level understanding of the world we live in. And that's the purpose of our education. We're performing planetary culture, not just studying it or talking about it. And the cumulative effect from kindergarten through grade 12 is a revolution in education.